Hey friends, how are you all doing? Uh, as you can see here in my uh, test scene, uh, I added some foliage, and uh, after I added, yeah, a lot of it as well, my FPS seems to drop a lot. And I found out that uh, it was all caused by the shadows because they all cast shadows. So uh, I optimized the shadows a bit. So. Um, and add an option here to the sun where you can delay the shadows. Oops, and you see here the FPS goes back to 60 now, nearly. We can just try to run a profile here. Yeah, okay, it's a little bit more slow because I'm also recording this, but as you can see, it's around uh, 30, yeah, 33. 32 or something, and if I enable the delayed shadows, it will drop to around 15. So, actually, it do uh, double the speed of the shadows when you do this delayed. And just to show you uh, how it looks, first of all, I'm just going to take a spot when you can see the shadows, and then we're just going to to run with the normal shadows that is pretty slow and then uh, try to check out how the shadow moves when we run it again uh, yeah Currently all these shadows in all the cascades is running at 60 FPS, as you can see, they're pretty smooth. But again, it's really slow. So we can just try to enable the delayed shadows. What it does, the delayed shadows, you can see it doubles the speed, but uh, what it does is split up the cascades into updating in different uh, FPS, so at the first Cascade is updating at 60 FPS as normal. The next one, which is running around here, is only updating at the 30 FPS. And the, when you get out here far away, it only updates at 15, 15 FPS. So that's why it uh, doubled the speed. It do the same kind of samples uh, of the shadow samples, but split them into different uh, FPS. And we can just try to run it here and try to look at uh, the shadows when they move I, I, in this area is uh, running about 30 fps and you can't really see any difference that's because uh, the the animations here are only running at uh, 25 fps so but if you try to look in this area where it's only at 15 fps 15 you can see it slightly. So, perhaps it needs to be adjusted where the different uh, cascade goes to and from. So we have it perhaps a 15 FPS should be perhaps a little bit further away. And not really notice, 30 FPS is perfect. So, uh, yeah. So we can set it Oops, again to the normal shadows and it doubles in time yeah well it just do this by uh, uh, catch it will catch the view projection of each of the cascade shadows so it can really use them later in the contest buffer that's why it works so uh, well that was just a quick update on automation and about this uh, level here I'm going to show you that at a later time. It's about, uh, well, how I'm processing on the the AI I'm doing now. Okay, until next time, have a nice day.